Hello everyone out there on YouTube, and this is me, Blame Others. Hello. And we are doing an updated version of the mod review for Pokemon Digimon Tonight. Now, I'm pretty much a fail at remembering things, so if you're someone like me who just can't forget anything, who forgets everything, you can use this as a reference, because we're going to be going through at least most things if I can freaking remember right now. And I just made a new world, and as you can see, we have Digimon here already. Now, if you guys watch my uh, Let's Play, which uh, includes this uh, uh, this mod, as well as Pokemon Mods mod, uh, you would have seen a good bit of the items already, and I'm gonna, but I'm still gonna go through er go through everything. Now, I'm gonna give myself something here from Good Old Too Many Items. Um, this is how you. This is what you need for, I guess, like the basic component for obtaining Digimon in the first place. Right now, it's the only way to obtain uh, acorns, which is what you need to capture Digimon as well as a Digicage. You need a. You need acorns. So the only way to obtain them is through killing a Digimon or finding a dead Digimon somewhere out there in the world. And there's usually plenty of those too. So. As you can see, this is um, this is it. This is the acorn, right here. Acorn. Um. Oh, a fair warning to to if you want to use this mod with other mods. Fair warning. Um, it is pretty buggy. It's being worked out as soon as possible. I'm not gonna go over the bugs because, uh, me and me being me, I cannot remember them and. Uh, it probably take a long time to explain, and I and I want to do this to get the updated version out. So what you would need first off is to start catching Digimon. You need the acorns, like I said, because acorns serve as, serve two functions. One, they attract Digimon, as you can see, as this guy's following me, Poyomon, and um, the, the Cinnamon's also following me. You can capture any level of Digimon, however, um higher level Digimon uh, stages will are hostile to you if I remember correctly most higher level Digimon should be hostile to you except the baby Digimon which the entering Digimon do not harm you unless of course provoked as I got hit before um now the first thing you'll need is a if I can find it right here a digi cage now a digi cage is made with if I can find it, ah, I can never find it either. It's really weird. I, I always have to find it. Redstone, and now if I can find it right here, and iron, and it was, should be in this pattern. If uh, if it hasn't changed yet, in fact, let me get a crafting table out here. Um, there you go. Should be. It should still be in this format. And there you go. You see, and it would give you a digi cage. Now this was the only way previously to catch a Digimon, and it's also best to place it like that, like so. Um now if I can get one of the Digimon to attract it, and all it needs to do is land on that and you get an achievement. Check out my Kuno Digimon. Um, actually, let's see if it's here. Yes, here's the achievement screen. Uh, of course, I've already played this, so it has the achievements unlocked. Craft a Digivice, and, um, get your Digimon creeped, which I do not appreciate that. I do not appreciate that. Um, let's see, and yeah, there's only those three uh, achievements as of right now. Uh, I think some more are being worked on with the new items and such. Um, now the second way, which is a newer one, which I'm not too familiar with because I have not been keeping up, is this digi rope, um, which looks kind of trippy in your hand, if I do say so myself. Um, so with this, if I can find another wild Digimon, or I'll, I'll spawn one in if I have to. What happened to that Poyomon that I found? Where, where did he wander off to? Uh, I don't know, let's just spawn on, let's, let's just spawn on, spawn, Poyomon. There he is. Okay, so you should be able to do this by right-clicking him. 
Um, I actually don't know quite how it works because <laughs> I do not pay attention to it. You're supposed to be able to right click and they do become yours. I I don't know. Right, I'm failing this right now. Come on, buddy. You see, I have I really have no idea how this works. I think the rope is actually still kind of buggy and glitchy still too at the moment. Um if I can remember, I'll like make a uh, an annotation of this. I'll make put a big up annotation if I can figure out to how to do that later. Um, I I still rely on the digi cage because again I I really I'm really lost on the whole rope situation. But I can um, show you how to craft that. So let me get the ye old recipe book. Um. Let's see, digibrope. I I know you need string. Digibrope, 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 digibrope. There it is. You need five string and a stick and iron, apparently. Yeah. So, uh, while I failed at it again, I'll add an annotation if I can, uh, if we can remember how to do it. If I can, if I learn how to do it, um, okay, this iron. So, uh, next thing is cards, which I'm not going to make all of them, but using various items, you can you can make Digimon cards, like like this. Again, different items, basically in the same recipe uh, format. Um, this is a dragon card. This is uh, used to obtain your. Um, to obtain your champion forms of Digimon uh, again and I am also not going to go into detail of all the Digimon such as you know which ones are included and which ones are uh, able to evolve and such and such because that's going to take a very long time if you guys really want it I can do another video on that but this is just to go over the basics of catching things and uh, doing such and such so well the first thing you're going to have to get to at least get your rookie Digimon, once you get this, is a Digivice, a normal Digivice, like made like so. And with this, if you right-click your Digimon, it should Digivolve. But as you can see, it says he needs more levels. Now, I'm gonna get a couple. Of the, I'm gonna get a stack of the infinite stack of that, and um, where is it? Right here. This is a le uh, a data converter. Uh, it has uh, no texture on it, sadly, and like that. But as you can see, when you place it down, it does gain a texture. Um, what this does is, if you, if I can, um, if I just do this, and for some reason I cannot hear my audio. Oh, no, it's on. Uh, I I don't know. Sorry. I, I just can't hear it for some weird reason. So if I give myself some levels, like so, um, and I find this is the easiest way to train Digimon as of right now, um, until things are worked out a bit better. See, it'll drop these raw data, um, like little pieces, and you can feed these to your Digimon. Um, and the in-training ones um, will, will spawn at random between a level 1 and level 5, and then beyond that, uh, other Digimon will be different levels too. So to in order to Digivolve though, they must be uh, level 11, and they will gain a an evolution ability to evolve every 11 levels. So as you can see, um, he's now level 11. So boom, he can Digivolve. And this is actually a different texture than the one I have in. In my version of mod that I play with, m with on uh, my LP, but I think this is kind of a neater model. Um, thanks to um, oh god, I feel so bad not remembering his name right now. But um, thanks to the guy who makes all these mods. <gasps> oh my god, look at all this! Oh my god, come here, look at <gasps> it's Demi Vimon. It's adorable. Here you have AHP. It's adorable. Nom, 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 nom. Because he's adorable. Um. Okay, so 
again, I'm not going to go into all the Digimon. I'm just going over the basics. Um, except for my fail at the string, which I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's still bugged out. I, I have no idea. Um, so one of the cards and everything. Uh, let's go over the. Oh, I never showed you the crafting recipe for the um did for the uh data converter. Data converter is crafted like so, like this, and then like that, and then you have a data converter. Um, next. Your next important thing should be a a um okay so the next thing you have to get is a um Digimon Sabers Digivice. I can't even remember the name right now, sorry. Um right here. The cross the Crossloader, and there's also the Season 5 Digivice, which I know is being worked on. Um, but I guess uh, he hasn't really implemented that idea yet. Um, either way, so what this does is it. Oh, oh I don't like that bug. It's still there. Okay, well, whatever. This. And I hope this one. So if I set with this, you can set your Digimon's home, which means, well, that's his that's his home. He will, and it's uh, set to default on the thing on the block you're standing on. You can look around and set set the set the block somewhere else where you're looking at. If you're not looking at a block, it'll set by default to the thing to the block you're standing on. Um, so when you hit send home he will teleport to that block and stay there sitting or roam around if you have him walking of course if he's walking around he will I in theory he should teleport back to you um <coughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. let's see Chicken, 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 chicken. Um, yeah, there's no way to no way to do that, is there? Um, okay. In order to craft this, you will need um, I need some more items. For this, you will need redstone. You will need well, you need gold, redstone, and another item on the bottom. It differs from Digivice to Digivice, but the basic red is two redstone and one gold in the middle. That is your Digivice, the crossloader. So season one for for um, for basic evolution, two rookie, and after that he cannot gain any more anything else from this. However, this is used in other crafting recipes, which we will go over right in a minute. Um, this will be used to get you to champion. Of course, this di differs again from Digimon to Digimon, depending on species. He should require the beast card in order to digivolve. Um, I'm basically going over the bases again, just crafting stuff. If you want me to do another video, I can do another video on actually implementing and digivolving most, if not all, the Digimon. Um, and uh, what next? What next? Um, oh, well, I guess the next important thing, would, even for the basics, should be the the eggs. And these spawn naturally in the world. You can also craft them. However, the things you use to craft them, you cannot craft themselves. I believe you can only get data data from from either le um. Uh, actually, let's, let's try that. Now. I believe you can only get it from either Ultimate or Mega Level Digimon. Um, so let's spawn a War Greymon. So spawn a War Greymon. He right here. So since we're in creative, he can't kill us. But no. Hmm. So either the data dropping is not implemented yet, or um, 
It's found another way that I don't know of. As you can see, eggs don't drop data. Um, so, as far as I know, either you gotta kill Digimon for data, for specific data, or it's just not implemented yet, and eggs are just there for looks as of right now still. I know they were just for looks in previous versions, um, but I thought they were already implemented. I guess not. Again, I'm sorry I'm not being too clear on this, but I haven't uh, been able to be on the forums for a good long while now. <laughs> so sorry about that, everyone. But I did, I have been wanting to make this updated video for a long time, actually. So I just thought I should hurry up and try and do one. <coughs> Especially since the mod needs one. Um, so let's get off creative here um, and set the time back to sunrise. Um... We're going to learn how to make, uh, well, a one of these. Okay, so we have to, we need gold, we need gold for this. We need gold and we got gold. Now, how the gold goes, I can't for the life of me remember. I think it's gold and iron actually. Uh, empty crest, empty crest, empty crest. Sorry. Oh, okay. So it, no, it's it's like that. I'm sorry. I'm I'm awful remembering recipes. If I don't practice a recipe, I will forget it. So what you need is this normal device as well as um, gold and you get a tag so that's how you craft it um, and with the cra crest and using we're going to use just the crest of courage for this um, explanation uh, it will make a tag of courage crest of courage right here even though technically that's the crest of courage <laughs> so yeah <laughs> The tag of courage. Um, so that's what you get, and this would give you your um, your ultimate level Digimon. Um, that would give you your ultimate level Digimon. So yeah. So these are different eggs that should spawn naturally in the world too. Um, now the Digivice of Darkness. Um, I have actually not been able to use this at all, even in practicing when it first came out. Um, I do know. Uh, let me give me give me some more um, some of these. I believe it's crafted this way, where you use this plus a virus data, and it, yeah, it will give you a viral digivice. Um, and of course, the digivice of darkness, where it requires you to get a darkness crest. Um, there are evil Digimon within the the mod. Yes, there are evil Digimon in the mod. Um, and if I remember correctly, all the Digimon, most of the evil Digimon, which is only about four or five, actually implemented in the game. Four or five, I believe. You know, truly dark Digimon. Um, and. Um, well, I was going to show you the nether anyway, so let's, um, where's the nether piece? Um, bleh. nether, where are you? Shouldn't you be on the first page? Yeah, right here. So yeah, we can go to the nether in a bit, in a second. Um, so one of the evil Digimon, which I'm just going to show for, you know, showing purposes, will be this. It should be black or dark Ogmon. Ow, ow, ow. And as you can see, he's trying to kill me. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. And actually, you should be able to catch him, though. Is the thing. Uh, I need more acorns. There. Okay. So... You should be able to catch him. Ah. See, so you should be able to catch him, and... As far as I know, I don't... I quite don't know, actually, what this Digivice is. 
primarily used for, because I know you can catch him normally with the Digicage. Um, hmm. I have, cannot remember. Uh, was it used for, well, I know they took Dark Leomon out because they had texture issues, and I have at least been keeping up with, you know, Digi at least, I know they're in there, I just can't remember names specifically. Um, you know, textures being added, Digimon actually being added, and or at least will be added in the future, and I just, I haven't seen Dark Leomon posted about, so... I still don't quite know exactly what this is for. Um, my best guess it would be that it should have been for digivolving the evil Digimon or catching the evil Digimon or turning your Digimon evil. That's about the only thing I can think of. And there's currently no evil versions of Digimon, so. Again, this is, again, unless this is me failing due to unknowable knowledge, um, it, you know, there's no use for it. Uh, there's, there is supposed to be use for the rope, I, I just can't, I just can't for the life of me remember how to use it, don't know how to use it, so, yeah. Um, and... Again, and all crests are dropped by Ultimate Digimon. I know this for a fact. Um, the spawning bug, which is in my version of the game, in my LP, was also fixed in this version as well as one of the previous versions. Um, where if you find an Ultimate Digimon and you kill it, or it's found dead, it's, it, it does fight other things sometimes. Um, it will drop these crests, different from Digimon, Digimon, War Greymon drops these, uh, Gururumon, War Gururumon should drop the friendship one, um, but they shouldn't spawn too much, the baby Digimon, and train Digimon spawn a good bit more, um, and let's head to the nether real quick so I can show you that there are also Digimon in the nether, and this is all going to be one big episode, so... Hopefully, I'm trying to go, go through this without too much, um, it being too long. So, hopefully we can find a Digimon, you know, just flopping about in here. There you go, there you go, there you go. There's some, uh, Pokemons kicking ass. Yeah, so you see the evil Digimon do drop the virus, uh, data, but... I don't believe it's really used for anything, though, that the evil device. Um, I can't, um, oh, okay, there's a norm, norm, normal spawning Dark Agumon, which is trying to kill me, but he can't kill me because I'm in, um, creative mode, god mode. And here we have uh, Dark Gautaman, Dark Gautaman facing the other way, trying to kill pigmen through walls. It appears that their range of sight is still kind of buggy. Um, here's Candleman. Oh, they were try trying to kill each other. Uh, okay, well, I kind of fucked over <laughs> Candleman then. Um, so let's head back. So those were some of the Digimon. Uh, I know Candle. Candlemon's able to be digivolved into. Uh, I don't know if he digivolves quite yet. Um, he himself digivolves. So, what's next? What's next? Um, what is? Uh, let me tell you how to get your Digimon to Mega. And there's only about three or four actual Mega Digimon. Uh, one of them being Omnimon. Yes, he is implemented in this mod. Um, Kyan got was able to do it. However, from what I've seen, it's been kind of tricky to actually, you know, evolve him into um, Omnimon. What you need to do is get a. If my memory is correct, you must have a level a Mega level Gabumon kill 
mega uh, medical rumon kill a either wild or your own I don't think your own your tamed ones work um, for their kill but a wild one should work for sure a wild Greymon have him kill it and he should digivolve into or at least be able to digivolve into uh, Omnimon um, So yeah, that's how you should be able to be able to digivolve. Um, blah, blah 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 blah. So let's see how we can get these um the two digivices of the um the crests. Um, what you need is oh oh my god, really snow, really. Oh god, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Set it to noon. Okay, stupid snow. Um, what you need, what you need, is again this Digivice and the Crest, right? Yes. A normal Digivice, Season 1 Digivice Plus, the Crest of the one you which you wish to create, and we'll give you that. Kind of simple, pretty simple. You just need dig the items in continuation of each other. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a bunch of damn it, V-mons. Oh, I, I love V-mons. Aww. They look kind of derpy. They actually look kind of derpy, but they're still adorable. Um. And I have to eat, because I'm dying. Give me a stack of apples. Nom, 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 nom. Sorry, but hunger is a problem. Um, so that should be the basis of crafting ideas. This movie is going to be basically crafting again. Next one is about evolution, such and such, or in more details if you guys really want it. Ah, uh, blah blah blah. Um. And, uh, as I didn't, I think that's really everything, actually. Um, again, the digi like the Digivice of Dark, the, this should be able to digivolve your, the evil Digimon, but they don't have any evolutions as of right now, so, I do know that, and I don't believe any of the evil ones have any evolutions to obtain in the first place. Um... So yeah, that should be the basic things. Again, this is a basic crafting and such and such for things. The only differences would be the probably the items you use to craft and used to craft different items. That's about the only difference. Everything else is pretty much the basics. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that you know this video isn't perfect. I'm normally not uh, the best video maker in the world in the first place and I had to stop in and out of this a couple of times which will, would have been explained in the beginning of, which would have been explained in the annotation at the beginning uh, so I'm, I'm sorry that it wasn't perfect but I can make another one with other things in more detail if you guys want uh, but that was pretty much the basics of taming and leveling up, at least explain if you, you know, to be cool, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna, um, I can at least show you, um, I can at least show you, um, Gabumon reaching mega level, at least, I can at least do that for you, since you guys have been pretty, since you guys have actually stayed watching. For those of you who had who have stayed watching, <laughs> so we would need this for ultimate and a beast card. Holy crap! That's that's huge. Okay, so we have to feed him, keep feeding him, keep feeding him, keep feeding him, and bring out this. Boom. Hello. Damn, that's really that's really tall. Hup. Okay. And 
the final thing we would need is a device of friendship. And of course some more levels. As you can see this would take this would take you a lot of your personal levels to achieve. If you weren't if you you know weren't cheating like I was. And kaboom Metal Guruman. Personally I really like how Metal Guruman looks. Oh and a lot of the biggest thing oh my god, get out of my face. There. Um, the biggest thing changing changed is obviously this. If I move away, if I can get him to start walking again, you see that? Digimon have movement in this version. So yeah, that was the biggest addition in in I think most complicated thing, or at least the you know the thing that's overlooked but means a lot. I think is the movement. He did give them animation. So, yeah, that was a lot of hard work, I know, for Kayan, and, you know, it's awesome that, you know, it's reached the point where he's, he's doing the, doing those, doing things such as that. So, yeah, it's an awesome mod. Uh, if you guys want, again, additional video will be done, and I thank you so much for watching. Views, likes, comments, subscriptions is, you know, always appreciated and awesome, of course. Comments which are, you know, pointless are, of course, pointless. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, thanks so much for watching. This has been me. Lame. Huge fan of the mod and huge Digimon fan. And, uh, goodbye.